Hey there, everybody. That here and welcome back to that plays Rim World Anomaly. We have another uh, ritual for more flesh beasts that's going to occur in four hours. I want to do something about that, and I have ideas. Okay. Bree has a psychic insanity lance. In fact, I'm wondering if Bree is the one who should be carrying it now. Let's see, where's Perrin at? Perrin's coming from the south. Perrin has the Revenant Invisibility. It does not last long, though. So I'm not... Oh, and she's got a minor break risk, so, you know. And Snipe has Heat Stroke? What the heck, man? This game just refuses to let us have anything. Okay. So, we need to try to stop the ritual. Let's get our ghouls moving up here so we can start getting everyone else moving up here. Bale might be a big help here, too. With his fire. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. Oh boy, a hunting work site. Let's go, lads. Just distract them. Uh, wow, Sai so went from no damage to dead. Ay, ay, ay. And of course, they have death refusal. Stay over here, Yosef. Um, Bale, let's have you hold up over here first. Because, yeah, the fires. They are not that helpful, actually. Alright. Please attack Ren some more. I'd rather you not just stand around and do nothing. Okay, Bree, move up. Oh, dang it, you're still within fire range. Move back. Bree, move over. <sighs> Glitch is down now, too. Great. And all of these bastards get self-resurrect. Move up just a little bit more. Not around! Why are you moving around like that? Makes all this insane. There we go. Move. Move, move, move. Get out of there. Okay. Yosef, help. Help with the fighting. Okay. Mm, yeah, let them keep going for now. All right. Bale, let's get you moving up a little bit. Actually, let's get you moving up uh, a lot of bit here. See if we can get Bree out of there. Uh, that's the wrong way, Bree. Dang it, she's on fire. Oh my god, the fire. Draft up and run. Uh, that's not running. That's actually just falling down. Okay. Baron, undraft. Uh, draft. Use your infinite invisibility. Undraft. Uh, rescue Bree? She didn't know immediate danger, but yeah, rescue her. Ooh. Try that again. Rescue her. Okay. A bunch of them can self-resurrect because video games. Um, we have Yosef here. Peacock, get over here, dude. I need you to help, too. Pillamore is down? Frick. He's missing a leg, too. Fail you, rescue Pillamore. Killings. Oh, lost an arm. Go ahead and use unnatural healing. There we go. I got the arm back. You two move back. Let Yosef do the shooting, please. Or not the shooting, the uh, meleeing. We lost a Militor. That's easy enough to repair. Okay. Go get this guy. I think at this point, it's just this dude. Can we tell the uh, pikemen to get a little bit closer? <laughs> please. All right. They had some decent weapons. Is that gonna, gonna self-resurrect too? Agony pulse, death refusal, sickness. Okay, so you had already died. All right, I think that's everyone then. Snipe, how are you doing? 10 hours, get back home, you'll be fine. Capture Latch. Maybe unwaveringly loyal, but he's gonna waver on some stuff here when I'm through with him. Okay, let's try to capture all these bastards if we can. Um. Still is going to be, need to be up and ready to do some things. Go ahead and capture Ren. Captheus, can you come over here and capture uh, Bruce? All right. Peacock, you're... <laughs> you tried, man. You tried. Okay. What else needs to be done? Maskinen. You. Use Ghoul Resurrection Serum. Bring back Sai. 
Okay. And then, uh... Where's Glitch? Oh, shoot! Um... Snipe, can you move? Actually, no, the, the fire should be extinguished soon. Okay, we're, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Oh, boy. Use our other batch of... Where is it? Uh, we have a lot of batches. Okay. Use another batch of Ghoul Resurrection Serum. Bring back Glitch. Okay. That should do it. All right. So, Chillings has his arms back. Thank goodness for unnatural healing. That actually helped out a ton from that one. Let's see if we can get everyone inside and alive. Bree, surprisingly, no immediate danger, even though she lost the most health. Get your ass inside, uh, Pillamore. Okay, he's going to be the top priority. As soon as he gets inside the gate. Let's still get over here. Oh, there's still a... Well, never mind, there isn't anymore. Because there's still a little dude, he popped. Okay. Yeah, work on Pillamore. Okay, he'll be fine. We did lose a leg. We'll just make him a bionic leg. Make a bionic leg. High priority. Glitch is up. Well, he will be. Size up. I mean, he will be. Uh, the Militor. Militor, Militor, Militor. Can we just resurrect that Militor? I do have the order in for it, don't I? Uh, resurrect like Mechanoid forever. So Snipe's the only one who would actually do it. But as long as he doesn't deteriorate, he'll be okay. He lost his fluid processor. Well, what are you going to do without fluid? Apparently just die. Alright. Sigh and Glitch need rescue. They'll be fine. Yeah, no immediate danger for anyone else. Snipe's been patched up. Bree hasn't. Bree's l Bree lost a lung. Ugh. Still, what are you doing now? I mean, I get what you're doing. Ooh, Latch lost a spine. That means we can do whatever we want to him, basically. <laughs> um, Tending to Ren. You may want to do this without medicine, to be honest with you. Because you're not going to make it back in time. Oh, not to that person either. Okay. Oh, yeah. Bruce is dying. It is what it is. Don't give me a bad mood for that. Observed corpse. Okay, I guess... Okay, well... Whatever. We got one of them. Did we get the unwaveringly loyal one? We did. Did we just brain wipe him? Probably. Anyway, come back here and tend to our people now. The important ones, you know? Or eat a fine meal. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Need to clean up the kitchen a little bit, but not much. No, 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 no. Um, tend to breathe. Then you can go to bed. Especially since she has a lot of burns, and burns tend to translate to infections. That's Snipe, okay. It's not who I expected. His blood filtration is down to 25%. This infection will kill him. Okay, that's obviously a problem. Finish tending debris. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, he may heal up enough where he'll be fine, but... Where are you? I don't care where you are, actually. Rest until healed. You are not to do a, a singular goddamn thing until you're healthy again. <clears throat> it's close, but thanks to 100% 10 quality, I think you might make it. Um, Chillings? Can you feed Peacob real quick? Thank you. Until he can feed himself. Don't really need to tend to him, but it is what it is. I get it. You're doing that automatically. Alright, he is defeating the infection, thanks to that amazing 10 quality from Vastilla. So I think we're going to be fine. Believe it or not. We do need to rebuild in here. Thanks to the most BS thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, what is this? This is in blue, blue, right? This is like a... Is it marine? 
Oh, there's a grab existing color button? Subtle blue. There you go. We're subtle blue. Sky blue. Marine. Ice blue. Subtle blue. There we go. That's the sauce. Redo that. Then we just need to put the beds back up. Love the fact that that part's uh, pretty easy. Very happy they didn't get destroyed. Pillamore doing his best to do some work. Look, I know nobody's feeding you and... Oh, you're starving. Why? What? Yeah, I guess eat. Cool. Now go lay back down. You're gonna rest until healed. Latch has gotten sick from infection. Good. Enjoy it. You bastard. And still, we'll get to you when she can. So this thing didn't do much, to be honest with you. It's got one more day before it can do anything again. That's a long cooldown for something that did not solve the problem. But it's fine, whatever. It's mad squirrel. Okay. Someone hunt it. Or something. Or Yosef will get it. Yeah. That's what you get for being outside. Okay. Hey, look, he's he's wasting resources because he's injured. I get it. Okay, I'm not mad. We thankfully, like I said, we don't have to rebuild any of the actual like things that require quality, the beds. I mean, we could replace this one, but the fact that we don't have to is helpful. Ideological Jubilee. Ooh. Okay, be a chance for a good mood. Hillmore needs his weapon back. Tell you what, do what you're doing and then re-equip your pump shotgun. Or, wait, you didn't have a pump shotgun. You had a sniper. Ah, crap. Where is your sniper? Okay. We brought it in at 99%. Thank goodness. You'll be fine. No rush. Do what you gotta do. I just made you swap out. Yeah, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, so now, right now, we're, of course, on the road to recovery. It's gonna take a bit. Blood filtration is going up, so, yeah, you're gonna be fine. 78%, eh, not as good, but it's fine. Okay. Bree, how you doing? Missing a lung ain't great. I'm gonna be honest, but... You know, using that, uh... Using that insanity, it was it was a risky play. But I think it was a necessary one. It had to happen. Oh yeah, you're gonna live. I guess that's good. How old are you? 54? How we didn't, we're not even gonna get that much age out of you. Hmm. Fine. Sorry, did the cat just feed Kunov? What happened over here? What just happened over here? I'm very confused. I, I'm gonna have to go back and watch the footage. I have no idea what just happened there, but it kind of freaked me out. I thought a cat just fed someone. Which is a little weird. We're gonna have some turkey today, though. Some hair to boot, maybe. Okay. When Bree gets up, she can re-equip a uh, Balti, maybe, if we still have it. Let's put in Rifle. Balti. Yeah, it's still right here. Eh, there's two of them, but we'll we'll give her the better one. Sell the other one. Probably. Maybe. Good stuff, good stuff. Snipe? You still have your sniper. That's right, you never actually fell down. You just had a rough time of it. How's your health? You're up again, I noticed, but... You're beating the infection, so maybe at this point you're fine. Blood filtration is up to 65%. You are resurrecting the mech. Which is fine. Having a close range uh, assistant doesn't hurt. Probably. Probably. Close range guard, more like. Hey, look at that. We're almost full of kittens. How y'all doing over here? You got... Do we have an insanity weaponry? 
limited use weapons that shock, manipulate, and destroy enemies using Arco technology. Yeah, yeah. So now... That was the last thing we have on the docket for now. There's still one we haven't discovered. But now we can make our own shock lance, for example. A shard and 60 bioferrite. Has shorter range. Requires line of sight. Risk of brain damage. For a psychic shock. And the insanity one. Which costs more bioferrite. Is it also... It does come with two uses, so... That's nice. And we did see use of it here. So, you know, the Shock Lance could be for a guaranteed prisoner. The Insanity Lance could be for busting up their ranks. We still have one Insanity Lance charge left. So I'm coming around to it. Put it that way. I think that was the most effective impactful impactful i think is the right word most impactful usage of that psychic shock lance i've ever personally had insanity lance not shock lance like i've seen it i've used it before i don't think i've ever used it to disrupt a raid quite that effectively like i said it was a necessary move because it was either that or we just stay here and have them throw flesh beast at us till the end of time and i didn't want that all right we got our flesh beasts. They're down downstairs. They can stay down there. Alright, I know you want to make this leg, and Pillmore will definitely appreciate it once you've made it. Honestly, you are beating this infection's ass at this point. I think you'll be fine. You probably don't even need the tend at this point, but you know, I'm not gonna say don't get it, because it'll be very helpful to have it. Ooh, you got your supercharge too. Nice, nice, nice. Look at you. All right, Mr. Feelgood over here. Yeah, at this point, he'll be fine. Um, uh, he, I'm not even requiring him to do this. He's just choosing to do this, so I'll let him continue to choose. All right. We do have some excess food. This is good stuff. We're going to have far less food go to waste. Once you get tended here, you're guaranteed to be fine. So you could get up, you could run around, you could have a good time if you wanted. All right, Bree, you're going to swap out lab coats. It's unfortunate that you're wearing a regular lab coat now, but I get it. Your psychic sensitivity is going to go down, but you'll be fine. Couldn't take a Balti. Okay. Welcome back to the land of the living. We got hay grass. Yes, we do. We got hay grass. How about you? What do, what do I do with this? It used to be just for wood. And, you know, we don't... We have a good amount of wood, as is. So I feel like we don't desperately need this, but we could use it. You know, we could pack stuff on in. How's the ghoul school? Ghoul school's doing pretty good. Um, Peacock's healing up still. He lost his sense of humor. So, but he'll be fine. He'll be fine in the long run. Probably. Maybe. Yeah, if you live through this, see what we want to do with you. We'll want to turn you to a ghoul. Actually, sickly. You know, that has no real negative effects. I think we're going to make Latch a ghoul. And if we're going to do that, why wait? Send him to the ghoul school. We have five shards. We totally have enough for this. Get both of the Get that wood, dude. Put it in our colony. Ooh. And there's some more berries. Pillamore is fully healed to a point. Still, you know, he, he, he can't heal the leg. But we're going to make him a new one, so it'll be fine. That's what Snipe's doing right now. Snipe, how you doing on the infection point? 96.5. You'll be perfectly fine. Zero percent chance it kills him at this point. Unless he decides to have a heart attack, too. But don't, don't choose heart attack, please. If you have the choice... Perrin has done the needful. bio Fairy Ritual Mascot. Don't worry, you'll, you'll enjoy this. You know, you were already inhumanized, so who cares? There you go. You'll get that spine back in no time. Anyway, welcome to the ghoul school. Have some meat. There you go. Very nice. Now half of our colonists are ghouls. 
Uh, why did Bree fall down? That's concerning. Did you suddenly get like a shock of pain? Oh, yes, you did. Yes, you absolutely did. That and that's why. You can't walk. Pick up your Balti. And now go this way, please. <laughs> Away from the... Away from the sphere, please. We'll let a cat eat it or something. <laughs> All right. Oh, we can send it out now. Hot dog. Okay, now someone else can go pick up that uh, that meal. Yeah, go, get, go get your own. Or, or go to bed. Yeah, that's a good idea. Until you're not at, like, you know, 61% pain. Okay, at least, I, at least I was able to find out what happened there relatively quickly. Hey, where's our clean sweeper? I mean, he's cleaning. That is his job. We can go ahead and have the Jubilee now. I really wish they had put in the vanilla, you know, cleaning orders. Like a cleaning zone. Kunov's gone berserk. All right. I don't need to send everyone, okay? Sai, come down here and do the needful. We need literally nobody else. Four hits? Four hits. It's what you get. Get out of the door. There you go, you dork. <laughs> okay. Still, uh, eat that fine meal and then recapture, please. Okay. Chilling, so you doing? Butchering. Actually, you keep at that. But then when you're done with butchering and moving stuff around, clean the dirt. Oop, it takes some of the overflow. That's a good thing. I want at least a little bit, bit of food and overflow at all times. And I want it to mostly be meat. Bionic leg is done. Pillamore, nice face. Um, how you doing? Left leg. Let's get you done up. Stop hopping around and hunting this turkey, okay? Yeah, just go... Hey. We'll get you surgery. Hey, then you can hop around more effectively. We'll wait until the surgery's done and he's back up and, and walking. So, what, does that mask actually do anything for you? Let's see. Worn by those who worship the old. Pain shock threshold up. Ooh. So it'll be harder to down you from pain. And it has some armor. Alright. Alright, not the worst in the world, I guess. No psychic rituals in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll fix that. We'll fix it. Oh, right. We, we don't need to... Uh, but look, Latch had good melee skill, okay? It was worth it. So what do we do with these two? Mason? Oh, they're both with Western Hados. I can't... I mean, I can, but I shouldn't do anything to him. You! You, I can do whatever I want to. Previously, I was going to try to recruit you because you have a uh, good mining skill, but also your traits suck. Actually, Sickly's fine, but the other two suck. Jealous. Yours suck. Yeah, abrasive. <laughs> At least you got super immune to offset it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Kunab will be our psychic ritual uh, target, I think, moving forward. Maybe we'll drain some... Maybe we'll drain that mining skill. Transfer it to someone else. You know, Bale doesn't really need it, but Perrin do does not have great mining skill, but she likes mining. Anyone else? Maskinen would be a fine candidate. I think Perrin would be a better candidate because she can fight. Alboya would be a good candidate as well. She's not a fighter, but she moves fast, and she has Neanderthal strength, which is worth noting. Yeah, maybe we'll give to Alboyo. We'll uh, back her up with some other people to make it a stronger drain, but it should be good. Should be good. Hey, okay, Pillamore is all legged up. Yeah, he is. Heck yeah, baby. Bree, how you doing? You have so many, like, small injuries. They just add up so much. That lung, though. I mean, we can make you a detoxifier lung, which would be probably way better. So, actually, it's not even a problem. It would be way better. Let's just do it. No, no hesitation. All right. Hey, look, that rat's still alive. Look at that boy. He's a survivor. 
Okay. Either that or he's just not that tasty. Release something else into the wild, too. Wasn't it a squirrel? Was it the squirrel that attacked? I don't think it was. But I don't see an extra squirrel down here, so I'm not sure. Okay, nobody's being assigned to the home area. I was just curious. We've had over almost 300 chicks in this colony at this point. Okay, Sai, so start off the fight. Give him the old yark. And then give him the old slappa slappa. Sign would be hunted. Wow, someone got him with a stun. Wow, we didn't take any damage. Good job, guys. Here, go do the, do the same thing over here. And then we don't, at this point, we probably don't need to hunt anything else for a couple months at least. A couple of quadrums, excuse me. Uh, a couple of red foxes. A lynx could fight back. So a lynx could be scary. As long as you keep your bionic arms, we're good. Love it. All right. Dude, having... This, like, the ghouls offset all of the BS that I, that I criticize about the Anomaly expansion. All of it. Because you know what's the biggest pain point? in RimWorld, in my opinion, is having reliable melee warriors who don't immediately become useless after like two fights. And these guys have completely filled that niche to the point where I'm surprised that Tynan signed off on letting them be this, this effective. I'm not gonna say powerful, you know, they're not gonna take on armies by themselves, but they can hold the front line so that your snipers and your other shootsmen can take out the other players of the enemy army. And then they'll be ready for the next fight. It was such, there's such a powerful addition to a colony. And having five of them is probably borderline overpowered. It's not. Rimworld can throw plenty of stuff. And honestly, we have a really, really fortunate base layout as well. You know, we have two major choke points, both of which we could fill up with ghouls. So the enemies would have a very hard time getting to us. And it, they're very attractive choke points, too, because the enemies just seem to come down here almost every time. Okay, so and if they drop right on top of us, we'll guess where the ghouls live. <laughs> so that's fine. You know, it's it's we're really, really fortunate in our positioning is what I'm trying to get at. We have another pikeman in three hours and we'll have our Militor back in five. All good things. All good things. We're going to have more Harbinger trees if you Harbinger, please. All good things, all good things. This one's ready to harvest. Go ahead and do that. This is a dead rat. Go ahead and uh, feed the trees. Hey, speaking of, get fed, son. There you go, a little bit more bioferrite for us. We have 589 of it, wow, okay. Well, if that's the case, maybe we should use some more of it. Let's see here, we got the ceremonial hood. Mm, doesn't really do anything. Other than be very, very lame armor. Yeah, we don't need that. Let's see, the ritual mask... Well, apparently the ritual mask does more, because at least that increases the pain shock threshold. We could make more of those. They only cost bioferrite. Dead life packs. It launches a capsule. That could be useful in a raid. Oh, that requires a shard, of course. That could be useful. Of course it's going to require a shard. Pikeman's done. Uh, disruptor packs. You know what? Let's, um... Actually, I have the order for it right here. Let's make it a do until you have and try to keep, like, two spare. Hellcat rifle. It's a rifle that can also use a little burner in it. Uh, yeah, we could use a couple of these. I could see these being useful. The burner requires 10 bioferrite to charge. It also requires seven components. Good lord. There are, of course, the lances and the pulsers. The ghoul plating. Only problem with that is it slows down ghouls by a bit. But it halves the damage they get. The barbs. Pikeman is now fully done. L less movement speed debuff. 50% extra damage, that might be worth getting for everybody. Let's make five of these. Not six, five. Screw the dead light shells. They, they, the dead life shells don't seem useful. 
the Adrenal Heart, Metal Blood Heart, Revenant Vertebrae. Don't really need any of those. I like the idea of making more Ritual Mask. Let's do that. Let's get rid of the Incinerator Order for now. And the Corrosive Heart and the Nerve Spiker. What does the Nerve Spiker take? Just Bioferrite? Ooh, actually, never mind. Let's put these on Do Until You Have. Let's say three Ritual Mask, three Nerve Spikers. Okay, make them. Why? Why is the wood going in here instead? These are preferred. Wait, these aren't connected? These should be connected. I think these. Um, don't put food in these. And low priority. There are other places we'd rather have them. Like the wood, I'd rather have over here. That's why it looked like we barely had any wood. Um... Normal priority. Critical. Yeah, good. Yep. That's what we want. Okay, the Toxifier Lung is on the docket. Getting made. Uh, let's make another leg as well, because we already did one for Pillamore. We might as well do two. Bree's the one who needs the lung, right? Yeah, okay. I'm trying to keep that in my back pocket. My mental back pocket. Please understand. All right, hey, look, we have uh, we have some trash in here. That's fine. It is what it is. Kind of wish I could also tell the clean sweepers to stop um, charging when they hit a certain point because they don't need to be at one hundred percent. It's fine-ish that they are. They just don't need to be. I don't know where the dread meld is, but he ain't dead yet. All right, so we have a lot of stuff to make. We're gonna use some bioferrite for sure, for sure. What about over here in the serum lab? We need to make some more ghoul resurrection serum. We need more shmeat. No, we got shmeat. We got shmeat and bioferrite. We're fine there. Mind numb serum? Temporarily prevents it from having mental breaks and inspirations. Uh, I mean, they even the inspirations aren't that good. We have 723 neutramine. You know, let's make a couple of these. Let's go with five. Prioritize the Ghoul Resurrection Serum over it, though. Juggernaut Serum, those could be good for the ghouls themselves, but I don't want to use that much shmeat. Metal Blood, Void Sight. Um, I think the rest of those could just not be used right now. But this is good. We have more Bioferrite than ever. To be fair, it's partially thanks to this, this lad. Okay. Remember, if he goes, if he goes nutso butso, and we need to worry about him becoming unstable, we can just send him. We can summon some flesh beast and send him to fight them, and hopefully he can kill them before he. Or hopefully he doesn't kill them all before he decides to frick off. It's a lot of horses. A lot of horses. I'm happy to see them here. You know, they can hang out. I'm not mad. In fact, I like them. And I think you should like them, too. All right. You know what? Don't hunt right now. It's uh, 6 a.m. We're up. Let's have an ideological jubilee. And in fact, let's get a couple more knee pillows in here. How about here and here? Get those built real quick, and then we'll have an ideological jubilee. It'll be like 8 a.m. after that, but that's fine. Thank you, Maskinen. What's your construction? 14. Let's go. Good stuff, lady. All right. And 8 a.m. Cool. It still annoys me. That there's a 20% chance of this sucks, but whatever. What they should do is they should make it a less chance of a fit. Of course. Something is digging up towards the surface. Great. We can't even know what it is. All right, is everyone inside? All of our ghouls inside? Where are our ghouls at? I think they're all inside. The breeze coming in right now. I'm going to go ahead and tell everyone to stay in the home area for now. Because we don't know what that's going to be yet. The speech is over. Sorry, Bree. Maybe you get over in time for the party. Pillowmore made it. All right, I have a lot on Snipe's docket. We could really use someone else who does crafting. Uh, 
Oh, Mason really likes crafting. Mm, too bad we already uh, did stuff to you. Flesh mass heart. What the hell is this? This cancer-like creature will expand its living mass across the surface. The heart itself is vulnerable to normal weapon. Invulnerable to normal weapon. That's the opposite of vulnerable. Uh, flesh mass nerve bu bundles will soon appear. Attack them to gather samples and find a way to kill the heart. Okay, the flesh mass itself should be destroyable. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, they just spit out bulb freaks. That's cool. Okay, well, let's let this finish up. Honestly, this would be a great candidate for a, a little bit of fire, I think. Because this should all be uh, quite flammable. Or inflammable. I know, what a country. Uh, boom, thank you. It was fun. And goodwill with the Red Hill Union. Sweet. 98%? Oh, well, we lost one. Oh, because not everybody was here. I get it. All right, Pillamore. Let's do something. Wow, that spreads fast. What the hell? Hope you enjoy fire. All right. So we're going to have to strategize against this thing, but for now, we're going to try to light it up a little bit more. And that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays Rim World Anomaly. If you enjoyed it, she's still growing. Let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. So uh, keep coming. It won't stop till it does. And then it will. And then who knows what will happen. That spits out acid? All right. Thanks again for watching this episode of Rim World Anomaly. My name is Thet. It's burning, burning. And I'll see you in the next video. Everybody owes. Yo.